creek. A creek, very good. Tell me about this creek. It has a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Mm -hmm. um, not much water. Um, very pretty, mm -hmm. relaxing. You can hear the sound of the water. Mm -hmm. Look around this creek, what's around it? Where is it? Um, there's some empty space around it. I can tell there was water flowing there before, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Um, then there are trees after that. Mm -hmm. So as the observer of this creek, do you have a body there? Take a look and see. Um, I think so. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see if you have mm -hmm. a physical body. Look at your feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe your feet for me. Um, um, looks like a woman's feet. A woman's um, feet. Not too big. Mm -hmm. Some kind of plastic shoes. Plastic shoes. Like red. Mm -hmm. um, kind of cheap. Um, not like sandals, but kind of toes are covered. Mm -hmm. um, what about the rest of the body? What does it look like? Um, Take a look at the legs. Um, like a skirt, mm -hmm. just down the knees, down to knees, like white. Um, looks like a young girl, maybe teenager. Mm -hmm. Down at the creek, just loves the water. Mm -hmm. Walking in the water, those funny shoes. Mm -hmm. Are these shoes for the water? Um, it's like plastic, so it's probably good with mm -hmm. water, and then you can walk in it after mm -hmm. you walk in the water. Mm -hmm. So take a look at the features of the face. What do you see? Long brown hair. Long brown hair. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, freckles. Freckles. Oh, cute, very cute. Mm -hmm. um, just um, the hair is blowing in the wind. I like it more as a little breeze. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for mm -hmm. you to acclimate yourself into that body. Feel yourself going inside of that body and being able to look out through the eyes of this little cute girl. And tell me what you see. Oh, she's picking up rocks. Mm -hmm. She looks at them one by one and gets them wet. And then it looks different when it's wet. Mm -hmm. And she likes that. Very good. Um, here and I hear the birds chirping. I can't see them. Mm -hmm. um, hear the water flowing. Very, very relaxing. Very good. So let's find out a little bit about this little girl. I'd like for you now to close this scene and let's go to see where you live in this lifetime. Allow yourself to see where you live. Be there now. Oh, looks like a cabin. Mm -hmm. Cabin. Oh. Describe it's it for like, me. Oh, little wood. Well, wood logs, all brown. And look kind of small. Mm -hmm. I see a chimney. How do you get oh. inside this cabin? Um, this the front door. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess if the door is not too big, you kind of need to bend down a little bit mm -hmm. to get in. All right, so go ahead inside and see what you see. Describe everything that you see as you walk in the door. It's it's dark or kind of dimmed. 
Mm -hmm. um, see like an oil lamp on the wall? Mm -hmm. When it gets too dark, you can light it up. Yes. A fireplace. Um, and, um, there are little pots. Are the pots in the fireplace? Um, around mm -hmm. the fireplace. Um, there's like the fireplaces made of stone. I see the different stones mm -hmm. put together. It's kind of pretty. Are they different color stones? No. No? no they're very similar. Mm -hmm. Kind of dark brown, dark brown color. But mm, yes. I don't know what about rocks, but um, I like those stones. Mm. What else do you see around this cabin? Oh, it's a window. There's a couple of windows. Mm -hmm. Curtain. Mm. On a big table. Mm -hmm. Is there a place and to sleep there? Yeah. What do you see? Floor. On the floor. Looks like a mattress. Mm -hmm. but be handmade. A handmade like mattress? Old, mm -hmm. um, not like the mattresses we see now, but... Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of mattresses, I guess, mm -hmm. different corners. Do you very, see? Very simple. Very simple. Side, yeah, do not much. Do you see anyone in the cabin with you? Well, there's a cat. Mm -hmm. I don't see any other person. But So let's find out who yeah. lives in that cabin with you. I'd like for you to close the scene and now go to a scene where you're eating a meal in that cabin. Be there now. Oh, I see, like, maybe I have a little brother. Mm -hmm. I have a little brother. See the cat again. Oh. How old is your brother? The ten comes to mind. Yes. Oh, and how I'm old sure. are you? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. And who else is there with you? Look around. We're, we're eating. Mm -hmm. Just you and your brother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I cook. You cook. Do you take care of your brother? Yes. Is there anybody else that lives with you? No. Just us. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe we have relatives close. Mm -hmm. The relatives come. I, yeah, I see a man. Um. Who is this man? He's outside the house. He brings me some bread. Um. Is he related to you? He was my dad's friend. Your dad's friend? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What happened to your dad? Well, he had to leave. He had to leave? Yeah. He didn't want to. Yeah, they um some kind of war. Mm -hmm. or, um, they're telling all the men needs to go. And what happened I, to your mother? I never knew my mother. Mm -hmm. um, I think she passed away. So you've been taking uh, care of your brother all this time. No, she didn't pass away. Uh, But I never knew her. Um, Your father took care of you until yeah. he had to leave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about you. What does your brother call you? Listen for your name. 
Nor Norma. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, Norma. Norma. What do you call your brother? Helm or Hans or Hans? I think so. Hans. Mm. Hans. Yeah. Very good. So, Norma, let's go now to another important day in that lifetime. I'd like for you to close the scene now, and let's go drifting to through time and space to another time and another place in that same lifetime when something very important has happened. Be there now. What's yeah. happening? There's a celebration. Mm -hmm. um, I hear music and people dancing. Everybody is happy. Oh. My, my brother is jumping mm -hmm. up and down. Mm -hmm. How old are you there, Norma? That's 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 17. So what is this celebration all about? Hmm. Um, I think the spring, when spring comes, mm -hmm. we celebrate. We share mm -hmm. food and play music, and we have a big bonfire, mm -hmm. and there, there are boys jumping um, about the fire. Mm -hmm. It's kind of scary. I feel like they're going to get burned. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see around? Oh, there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Do these people dress special for this celebration? Yeah, very colorful. Mm -hmm. Tell me what they look like. What kind of things do they wear? See, like a woman has some kind of head, um, like a very small scarf. Mm -hmm. Doesn't cover all their hair, but kind of like a triangle shape, like a bandana on mm -hmm. top of their head. And but they all wear different colors. Mm -hmm. and they're like different colored cloths that hang around and. Um, and take a look at their clothes. What do they wear? The women wear skirt. They're kind of fluffy. Mm -hmm. Are they long or short? Oh, well, it's right below the knees, mm -hmm. I guess. Some of them are long, like to their ankles. Mm -hmm. And what do the men oh. wear? Like like old style kind of mm -hmm. pants, like um, like they don't have zippers, mm -hmm. like very. And the cloth that I, kind of looks harsh to me. I don't know. It doesn't look very soft. Mm -hmm. but, um, and they have shirts, and they're also dressed all colorful. Mm -hmm. Everybody's happy. What do you do in the celebration? Are you dancing too? No, just watching. Okay, very good. Is there anything else important about this celebration? My brother mm -hmm. is happy. Very good. When your brother is happy, does that make you happy? Mm -hmm. Is your brother always happy or does he get sad? No. Um, not uh, always happy. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel, knowing that your brother is not happy? He's happy now, mm -hmm. so I'm happy. Are you responsible for making him happy? Mm -hmm. So when he's not happy, you feel like you haven't done the right job? Mm, I see. Very good. Anything else important from this? 
or or just the community and everybody's together mm-hmm. and happy. Very good. And it feels good. Very good. So now let's close this scene. We're going to close this scene and now go through time and space to another time and another place in that same lifetime when something, another event that's affected your life is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Well, we're, we're at home. Mm-hmm. My brother, home. He's a young man. Mm-hmm. Very strong. And he, he's cutting wood. Oh. What are you doing, Norma? I'm just watching him, talking to him. Mm-hmm. And we're laughing. What's the importance of this day? Um, I guess we we feel good. Mm-hmm. Kind of accept it. Um, that we don't have parents and mm-hmm. we we're fine. Everybody's okay. And my brother is older, so it's easier on me. Mm-hmm. I feel more relaxed. And, um, yeah, I feel I feel good. Mm-hmm. Are you still getting assistance from your brother's friend, or is your brother working now? I think my my brother takes care of us. Okay, very good. Um, but we, if you need anything, we can go ask people. Very good. All right. So let's close that scene now. Close that scene and let's go to the next very important event from that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? Um, um my, my brother is getting married. Mm-hmm. Um, we're all happy. Um, very, very nice feeling. How does that make you feel, knowing that your brother is getting married? I'm proud. Mm-hmm. I just see like celebration again, like music. Mm-hmm. And again, everybody's happy and everybody's celebrating with us. And they brought gifts for them. Mm-hmm which they need because we don't have much Mm -hmm. Um, but I know they'll be okay Mm -hmm. is your brother leaving your home now yeah how do you feel about that I'm I'm okay with it very good I'm proud very good is there anything else important from this scene no very good to close the scene now And let's move ahead in time and place to the same lifetime when you're older. Take a look at the most significant day when you're older and tell me where you are. I'm still living in that cabin. Mm -hmm. The same small cabin, but I like it. How old are you there? Fifty, no, mm-hmm. fifty plus. I don't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you feel living in that cabin by yourself? It's very peaceful. Mm-hmm. I like it. They're animals. They're wild animals that come visit me. Mm-hmm. I love them. And how do you provide for yourself, Norma? 
My brother is not too far. Um, he works, and um, I don't need much. Mm -hmm. You're living a peaceful life. I, I make bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm very peaceful. I'm happy. Very good. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene, and now let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Be there now. Tell me where you are. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Seventy, something, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What's happening with your body? Just tired. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, I don't want to move because it hurts. And I get dizzy. And, but when I lay down, I'm okay. So as you're lying there thinking about how your body and how it feels, Let's take a look at your lifetime. How has your lifetime been? I'm, I'm dying happy. Mm -hmm. You're dying I happy. don't have any regrets. So. Very good. Very good. So let's, let's now move forward to the last mm -hmm. breath in that lifetime. Take your last breath and allow yourself now to detach from that body, leaving that body of Norma behind. And as you breathe, you can look at that lifetime and you can see that every lifetime has a purpose and has a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Raising your brother as your own son? Well, I learned that I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can be independent. I don't need to worry. Worry doesn't help. Mm -hmm. And did you learn any lessons from that lifetime? Just keep, keep being peaceful. The most important thing is to find peace and stay there. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you now to continue on your journey and tell me where it is that your spirit goes as it leaves that body. Describe to me. What's going up? Mm-hmm. What's up there? Clouds. Mm-hmm. Describe everything you see. Oh, they're bright. Mm -hmm. oh. That's floating. Mm-hmm. So as you're floating, what do you see from that perspective? You see clouds, a lot of clouds and mm -hmm. the blue sky. I just keep going. Mm -hmm. I'm light. Tell me where you go, just so. Follow the path. What happens next? I'm going up and up and going to the light. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's in that light? It's like a white arch. A white I'm, arch. I'm going there like a, like a light. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very bright. How does that brightness feel to you? Makes me feel warm. Mm. So you said it looked like a white arch? Yeah. Mm. Do you go through that arch? Yeah. It's on the other it's side. Like the like the gate, it's not a gate, but um, once you pass that, mm -hmm. that's the other side. Very good. So tell me what's on the other side. What do you see? 
Oh, my friends. Your friends. Tell me more. Oh, is he male? Mm -hmm. Oh, there are three males. Three males. Um, what do they look like? Um, they, uh, <laughs> they show up like human form. Mm -hmm. I guess I do look like my, like Norma. Mm -hmm. We were kind of laughing because we know we're not human form, we're light there. Yes. We, we think it's funny. Mm -hmm. Who are these three males? Ask them. Oh, they say you're home now. Mm -hmm. We have been waiting for you. I did well. Norma did well. Mm -hmm. um, they say I actually never left. You truly never left? Mm. Mm, the, no. Um, How does that work that you truly never left? He says, one of them says, part of me was Norma, but I was there doing my work with them. Mm. Oh, and they say, oh, come on, we have a lot to do. All right, so let's go mm. and see what we have to do. Okay. Tell me what happens. Where do you go? We're light now. Mm -hmm. We're not the human uh, form. And we're kind of zapping through like really fast. Mm -hmm. Going somewhere. Where are you going? Uh, they they say I have to go to the classroom. The classroom. Oh. Tell me more. What is this classroom? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I walked in and they say, Where have you been? There's, um, I'm supposed to teach. You're the teacher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were reading. Yes. It looks like a, like a, more like a classroom that like we go to. Mm -hmm. There's a board and um, there's desks. Mm -hmm. How many people do you see at the desks? Oh, uh, we like 20. Mm -hmm. And they're laughing. We, um, and I say, let's get serious now. Let's, let's learn some stuff, see what you learn. Very good. So they show me, like, what they learned. They're practicing something. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it is that they're practicing. Huh. Well, they're making balls of light. Or <laughs> Um, they're making these different color balls of energy and they're towing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> what do these um, balls of energy have inside? It can have different things. Mm -hmm. It depends on who's making it mm -hmm. because they're putting some of their own energy. Some of them, some of them are have healing power. Mm -hmm. They can make these balls and shoot it out and make the make the other student feel it. Or sometimes they shoot at me. Mm -hmm. They're like, how does that feel? And I give them a high five. Um, they do a good job. Mm -hmm. 
How do you feel about these students? They're funny. They're, they're so much fun. Mm -hmm. Do they have genders, male or female, or are they all the same? Yeah, they have genders. Mm -hmm. Some of them I can tell female mm -hmm. energy. Yes. They were like... <laughs> They were like human forms sitting in, in their desks and waiting for me. Mm -hmm. And they start laughing when I came in. And what do now you their energy. What do you look like there now? I, want, I don't have a human form. I'm more like a column. Like a column. Of light. What color is this column? Blue. Blue. But they're different uh, shades, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's not like old blue, um, there's purple on the edges. Do these colors have a significance? Yeah. What does the blue mean? Blue? Oh. Blue is like a teacher. Like a teacher. Mm -hmm. Like a guide and, um, blue is somebody who likes to help and teach and Easy going and very good. Um, I can work with certain type of souls, mm -hmm. not all of them. Okay, so you say that you're a teacher there. What is mm -hmm. it that you're going to teach today? What is your lesson for today? I'm really just checking on them today. Mm -hmm. um, like, have you been practicing? Are you? Let's see how your energy feels. Let's see how you do it. I kind of challenge them a little bit. Mm -hmm. and tell them what they need to do next. How they can make it better. It's very informal. Not like, not like a class here, I guess. Mm -hmm. I talk to them. And then we sit in a group and s throw energy to each other. That's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all different colors. and um, Very good. Oh, so let's yeah. see where you go next. I'd like for you now to close that scene and let's find out mm -hmm. where it is that you go next in that same space. Do you meet with anybody else? Do you have teachers? I meet those three guys mm -hmm. that were waiting for me at the arch. Yes. Who are they? They're my friends. But they're very wise. Mm -hmm. they're Do they have names? Um, I'm asking. Um, mm -hmm. They say it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They say I know them. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, yeah, they don't want to. They're laughing at me. What role do they play in your life? They always support me. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they support you, do they support you when you are? just at home or when you've incarnated into a body always always okay so let's find out a little bit more about what happens when you're back home what happens when you decide to take a lifetime let's find out specifically about the lifetime of Fatma how was that decided Allow yourself now to go there. Okay. Mm. I'm telling them that I, I need to go. Mm -hmm. And one of them don't agree. I don't need to go. What is the reason why you need to go?
I need to help. Mm -hmm. um, it would be easier if I did. Mm -hmm. I don't fully go anyway. Yes, just just one aspect of you goes. But he says, one of them mm -hmm. says, um, you have less energy when you go. Mm. So when you incarnate, you're oh. not fully energized, like when you're home? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can take more energy with me in a life, mm -hmm. but I don't uh, because I need to keep working there. Mm -hmm. As a teacher? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so I cannot take too much energy, but it still helps. So let's find out how it is that you plan the life of Fatma. Hmm. So I see that those three guys were talking. And um, I keep saying I, I can help. That would be helpful if I go. And I'll help the people. There's some of my students hmm. has to reincarnate. So will you be going to, with some of your students? Yeah. Is that a reason why you're coming to Earth? Are you so, supposed to learn anything too? I always learn. Mm. Uh, it's endless. There, you, can, you never stop learning. Mm -hmm. That's why I like coming. I always learn something. And I love I love my students, mm -hmm. and if you keep that love growing, it's worth everything. Yeah. Now when you come to the earth with your students, do you make contracts with them? I don't. I don't make contracts, mm -hmm. I, but I tell them I'll be with you, mm -hmm. but you need to allow me to help you. And I'll be there. I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why this lifetime. What did you need mm. to learn in the lifetime of Fatma? Was there a purpose for being here at this time? Um, it has multiple um, levels. There are multiple levels that I can help. Mm -hmm. If I'm here, um, I can help the earth. Um, yeah, I, I see see myself connecting with with the earth mm -hmm. and appreciating the nature and that that helps. And I can remind others to to appreciate what we have mm -hmm. and respect respect the animals, respect the nature. Be grateful for the air. Be grateful for the water. I I'm just a grateful soul, I guess. Mm -hmm. That kind of helps. I cannot help everybody, they're not, I cannot connect with everybody, but with my students I can connect, mm -hmm. and I don't have to talk to them, I just connect with them. And how is it that you connect with your three guides? What happens when you go on an incarnation? It's kind of weird because part of me is still there yes. and there some things I do they laugh and because I forget uh, when you 
when you reincarnate, you forget, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and you do silly things. Um, so how is it that your guides communicate with this incarnated soul? What do they do to remind you? Well, when I sleep, I'm always with them mm -hmm. fully, and we discuss and what needs to be done. Um, but when I'm awake, then they put thoughts in my head, and they're always with me. They're they protect, mm -hmm. and they try to tell me, "Don't do that." Just yeah, I see. I do silly things sometimes. I forget. How do they tell Fatma? Mm. How do they tell her these things? Animals. Oh, <laughs> oh they they send a lot of birds. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are the birds. Ah, because that gets my attention. Okay. I just love animals and the nature, and um, they send <laughs> their bold eagles where, where I live, and they they show up, uh -huh. and I drive from work sometimes. So are those your guides uh -huh. showing up? Mm -hmm. mm, very good. So how is it that Fatma can communicate better with her guides? Is she always communicating? She is. She's communicating. It's just uh, the human condition mm -hmm. that she um, forgets. Mm -hmm. But that's part of the game. Uh. She has fun. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. She she likes that. She's then she laughs at herself and then tells her students what silly things she did. Ah, so she goes back every uh, night with her students. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they laugh, and they see that she's just like them. It's mm -hmm. not. We're all the same, we're all one. Mm -hmm. we're, we're helping each other. When we forget, it's okay. It's okay to forget. Now, when she sleeps, she sometimes dreams. Mm -hmm. Where is it that she goes in her dreams? Because she's had very, very vivid dreams, for example, in which, one in which she was healing a wound on her right leg. What was that dream all about? Uh, help her remember her powers. Mm. She forgets. She, um, she can heal mm -hmm. if she wanted to. So you showed her how she healed herself in that mm -hmm. dream. Mm -hmm. Was that a real body, or was that just a a different type of aspect of her? What was no, it? No, that was just a dream. That, that was just a dream. Very showed good. her. Um, but, um, and we showed her she wasn't scared when she got hurt okay. in that dream because at that time she was kind of wrapped up in her head. And, but she um, did have a dream in which she mm -hmm. was very scared, in which mm -hmm. her daughter swallowed a loose tooth and almost choked. What mm -hmm. was that dream about? Um, so, yeah, that, yeah, she did get scared about mm. that, but we, we were trying to show her there's not, don't be scared. Mm -hmm. Why would the, someone have that type of dream? The message was, be so peaceful that even when the worst thing happens, you can you can be at peace. You can accept, mm -hmm. and she knows that. She just she worries about her daughter and what's gonna happen mm -hmm. if she's okay. And doesn't need to. She doesn't need to. Not to need. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. She told me that she has a dream where a switch was turned on and other people around her lost all knowledge. 
she saw empty brains. Mm. Now, why would this teacher have a dream like that? Remind her. Well, you... her dreams needs to be dramatic sometimes ah. to, for her to remember and take it seriously. Mm -hmm. She just tends to say, oh, it was just a dream. Mm -hmm. Nothing important. I just make things up in my dreams. She's, it's just her education and the way she grew up and mm -hmm. doesn't take dream seriously. So what is this dream all about? That she will feel alone in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. She needs to remember that, but that's not... She chose that. She needs to remember that she chose that. And she will be isolated. She will feel like she's talking to the wall mm -hmm. and talking to people. Is this in her future or now? That was in her future at the time mm -hmm. she had the dream. She's at a much better place now. Okay. She was in a heart and she was a child mm -hmm. too. It's, we just made it dramatic so she'll remember it. Mm -hmm. and she actually, she, she could not forget that dream. Very good. So I think it, it helped. It did its purpose. Good. What about the dream recently where she had, it wasn't a dream, she actually had sleep paralysis and she heard someone calling her twice and she felt a movement around her bed when no one else was in the room. What was that? <laughs> That's her students. That's her That's students. Messing with her. Mm. What were they trying to tell her? They were just showing off how much they learned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, just silly. But she kind of got scared though. She didn't. Um, yeah, she got scared, but it wasn't bad. It was. They were just calling her name and they wanted to get her attention. And once they got her attention, they wanted to show off. and. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't, it wasn't her sleep time, you know, it, they were, they're just excited and silly, uh, mm -hmm. nothing to be scared of. Now these students that she has, mm -hmm. are these lifelong students or is she always a teacher no matter in what lifetime? Yeah. Or just in this lifetime? No, well, she wasn't always a teacher. She had a lot of lifetimes. Okay. So during this lifetime, she's a teacher? Um, or during the lifetime of Norma? Norma was just a... Um, well, Norma, she wanted to be Norma and mm -hmm. experience some things. That independence. Mm -hmm. and um, this lifetime, though, sometimes it's better, depending on your energy, to stay on the other side and help from the other side. But it's this time she just wanted to come and help. Mm -hmm. Well, she has questions about her body. She wants mm -hmm. to do a scan and see why it is that she has issues with allergies, stiffness in her right shoulders, and mm. eyesight. Would you do a scan now from head to toe and see if there's anything there that needs some sort of adjustment? Her body should be completely white and light. See if there's any, any things that are not completely bright white.
Yeah, I think the, she's she has that. Um, yeah, growing up, she they lived in the places that had too much mold, and mm -hmm. it's kind of affected her kind of right shoulder. That's what she's feeling there. All right. So we know that we mm. can make changes to the cellular structure of the body. Can we begin today to go ahead and flush out all of this mold? Yes. All right. Yeah. So what color light would you recommend for this procedure? Green. Very good. So let's bring in the green light right from the top of her head right here. Let's bring in that beam of light and let's go in through all of her nasal cavities, down her neck, her throat, down the shoulders, adjusting and flushing out. Allow that light to continue down her body, her arms, her torso, her legs, and allow that light to continue down into Mother Earth out of her tr feet. And let's bring all of that down to Mother Earth for healing. And I'd like for you to look and see at all of this area and tell me what it looks like now. Looks good. Very. Feel, feel better. Feel better. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look now at her chakras. All of her chakras should be spinning and clear. Take a look and see if she has any chakras that are not working, not aligned. Let's find out what area of the body is misaligned. Look at those energy centers. They should be spinning with energy. Well, we'll help her. With All right. yeah, it's All not right. totally. All, All right. right. Now I'd like to ask if there's anything else that Fatma did not ask that you would like to tell her today. Is there anything else? She just gets wrapped up about stuff sometimes and it's mm -hmm. hard to communicate mm -hmm. with her. Yes. She knows that. Mm -hmm. um, she knows what to do, but all she needs to do is breathe. Very good. Just breathe. So when she encounters any issues at work, for example, mm -hmm. she just needs to breathe. Just stop, pause. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? Any additional tips for her about her career? Yeah, she worries about her career. Mm -hmm. She's well, she's where she needs to be. Very she knows good. that she's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, yeah, just just needs to remember to stop and breathe, mm -hmm. and doesn't need to get caught up in the drama. Good, good. Now I'd oh. like to ask, mm -hmm. what is the reason why you bought, brought Fatma all the way here to see me? What did you need to tell her? She wanted to know and we wanted to help her. Mm -hmm. Just tell her we're always there. Very and good. She just needs to breathe. Good. And pause, and that's all she needs to do. And um, and we wanted her to remember her power, and she needs to connect more with the people that she wanted to help. Mm -hmm. She she is helping. She helped, and it, it's just she can do more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, and she does. We wanted to tell her she's she feels exhausted mm -hmm. because she doesn't have 
all the energy she needs for this lifetime. Okay. Um, she didn't bring. She knew that she she wanted that, but mm -hmm. um, she feels tired, exhausted, and then she feels guilty, mm -hmm. not helping. And but all she needs to do to help is to be, to breathe. Very good. Very um, that's all she needs to do, and um, I think that that will help her. She will remember all this. Very, now. very good. Is there anything um, else that you would like to tell her, or do you think that this is complete now? No, I don't have anything else. Very for her. good. Very good. Yeah. Do you feel this was a success? Yeah, very much so. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Wow. Hi, Alpha. <laughs> Hi. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Interesting. Let me switch very those Very interesting. Up. Yeah. You got a you got a lot of information there. Wow. How do you feel? Yeah, I have I guess I need to digest yeah. some of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. too much, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, but uh, I guess I I knew some of that that what I needed to do. Um like breeding I mm -hmm. I, I feel like I always get that advice somehow. It's just not pause, doing it. Pause and breathe. Yeah, pause and breathe. That's really all you need to do because there's nothing to be concerned about. You're here pretty yeah. much just to have a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, you're you're only a portion of you is here. That the rest is of you strange. Is, the rest though. of you is teaching, having fun in your classroom. The, yeah, that's veiled though, right? So yeah. Yeah, I, I never thought about that. <laughs> and that's yes. why you're so tired, because you left most of your energy up there. Yeah, Does that that, that part, uh, actually, I do feel bad sometimes, because mm -hmm. I, after work, I just need to take a bath and go to bed. I don't yeah. want to do too much, and yeah. it does feel bad sometimes that... But you well, may be doing, putting too much energy there, too, mm -hmm. where really... You came here pretty much to just help people and have fun, and you know. Yeah, and I can do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't necessarily need, need to be physically doing stuff for that. I right. guess. Right. Yeah, that was that good. was a good advice. Yeah. 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 So you want to keep this private? What do you think? Um, let me watch it first. You want to watch yeah, it? Yeah, because I I really enjoy watching other people's mm -hmm. sessions. Um. I think I remember everything. Yeah. There well, wasn't anything I would take really out anything private. having to do with family and things like that. I, I don't keep relationship things in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I can share. I, I don't think there was anything. Well, Fatma. Well, Alba. <laughs> yeah. What a journey. What a journey. So, what do you feel? I feel really relaxed right now. I guess I need to ground more or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a very good feeling. Um, yeah. Yeah. I need to be more relaxed. That's what mm -hmm. I I realize now. That you were a little tight. Yes, I was. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people come here and they think that they can't be hypnotized because they're very left brain. So I am very left brain. Yeah. This is an engineer, right? Yeah. So you spend yeah, all your time analyzing things. Do you feel that you had any issue getting hypnotized? I don't know. <laughs> no, she, no. Was, she was like fat. <laughs> but, no, but you did the exercises, which, yeah, which, which helped. Which helped a lot. I always do exercises to just remind people of what it's like to be in a trance. And when yeah. you do that, you go, oh, I've been been here, been here, done that, right? Yeah, yeah. So it makes it really easy. So well, it, it gave me confidence that you said, see how easy that was? Right. Let's do this, and that was easy, so that gave me confidence that I, you know, I can do it. Exactly. Yeah. So it was, the, how did it feel? It felt great. I think the best part is just how relaxed you get. Yeah. And, um, I want to be able to do it all the time. And, and keep, you, keep you, that state. you thought that you weren't visual. 
No, I didn't think I was visual. Well, were you? Were you able to? I think I was. I you were able to descri describe things very, very clearly. That yeah, life I with the stones and the water, do you remember no, that? No, I did see her. I, yeah. yeah. That was visual, yeah. I, I think I saw everything. It's Interesting, huh? That was very interesting, because I didn't think I could visualize stuff. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. So, yeah, you will have to digest this a little bit, because there was a lot of information there. This thing yeah. about being a teacher and welcoming you home and, mm. hey, let's go to class, and what have you guys been doing? It's, interesting, huh? Interesting, yeah. I need to think about that. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, yeah. you know, to think yeah. that we really do have another life when we're sleeping. and. And uh, we go back and forth, and only we're busy when we're sleeping. Yeah, that's that was the impression that that's where I was going. That you're going back there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, uh, would you recommend this to other people? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, everybody. Just, just the state of being relaxed, and you can do this. Uh, and then I learned so much. I still need to digest, and <laughs> I already feel that I I got what I needed. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm sure it will keep coming to me as I. As I process this more. So how far yeah. did you come? I came from Bay City, Texas. From Texas. To get on the plane. Yeah, we're <laughs> Miami here. Yeah. And uh, if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com. There is a link there under hypnosis that says uh, newsletter. Click on that, sign up, and about once a month I send out a newsletter. Is that how you got your session? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you got to be really fast. Mm -hmm. They book within minutes. Nobody rem nobody believes me, but no, it's true. You have to it like. Does go fast. I did. I did get lucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. So click on the link and you'll get a session with me wherever I go. Right now we're in Miami, uh, and uh, I hope I you enjoyed this session. This was really nice. This is just a past life regression. It was really cool and life between lives, and uh, I hope I get to meet you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Alba. Thank you.